Hello, in this Pixar Flux View tutorial, you will learn how to use the model CV mesh and material IDs to compose the scene textures. For this tutorial, we'll compose the textures for this old barrel. The barrel model has three material IDs, and the label and the nail are two different models. We'll use the UV mesh render node to render the material IDs. We'll start with a simple texture composed of constant colors and we'll add photo textures to the project to end up with a more realistic texture. Drag and drop the barrel models to the scene models list. In the 3D node group, click UV Mesh Render to add a new node to the project. Set the size to 1024 by 1024. Set the viewport zoom to 50%. Drag and drop a scene textures node. The output of the UV Mesh Render node Auto connects to the albedo input of the scene textures node. Drag and drop a new constant node. Connect it to the metal input and set the color to black. In the UV mesh render node, the default values render the material ID 1 of the barrel node. Rename the job and set the color. Click the plus button to add a new job. Leave the model as barrel and set the material ID to 2. Add a new job. Leave the model as barrel and set the material ID to 3. Add a new job. Set the model as barrel label and set the material ID to any. Add a new job. Set the model as barrel nail and set the material ID to any. Now let's add the photo textures. Drag and drop the oak texture image into the graph. Add a resize node and set the size Y to 1024. Add a reframe node and set the size X to 1024. Shift drag the UV mesh render node to duplicate it. Set the opacity to 1, delete the rusted iron, label and nail render jobs. Set the wood color to white. This image will be the mask for the wood texture. Drag and drop a new mask node and connect the mask. Drag and drop a new mix node on the albedo input to auto connect it. Connect the new wood texture to the albedo mix. Duplicate the wood mask UV mesh render node. Delete the wood job, set the opacity to 0 and set the color of the render job to black and the opacity to 0.3. This image will be used to darken the wood cracks. Drag and drop a new blend node on top of the wood texture link. Connect the wood crack image to the foreground. Drag and drop the rusted metal image into the graph. Add a resize and reframe nodes to set the rusted metal image to 1024 by 1024. Duplicate the UV mesh render node. Delete all jobs except rusted iron. Set the background opacity to 1 and the job color to white. This will be the mask for the rusted iron. Drag and drop the bottle label image into the graph. Add a resize node and a mask node. Duplicate the UV mesh render node and delete all jobs except label. Add a reframe node and set it to 1024 by 1024. Connect the label mask. Set the resize node as the active node and resize the label using the viewport gizmo. Drag and drop the iron nail image into the node graph. Add a resize node, a mask node, and a reframe node. Set the reframe output to 1024 by 1024. Duplicate the UV mesh render node. Delete all jobs except nail. 
Set the background opacity to 1 and the job color to white. Connect the mask and resize the image using the viewport gizmo. Let's add a curves node to make the nail darker. Now the albedo texture is complete. This is how you use the UV Mesh render node to compose your model textures in Pixaflux. Thank you for watching this Pixaflux video tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to follow us on Facebook and Google+.